Yes. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for the invitation uh, to, to, the, to talk to this uh, workshop. Can you see my slides? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I will give a short introduction to, uh, to an initiative which we just started uh, before the summer. Um, so to, to set up a little uh, information exchange platform on news on, on data science uh, uh, for food safety uh, risk assessment. Just some brief slides about, about EFSA. I've just noticed in the slides that most of you know what EFSA is, but uh, I just uh, want to give this introduction. So EFSA is the reference body for risk assessment of food and feed in the European Union. So we, and our work covers the entire food chain from, from field to fork. So we are one of the uh, several bodies in the European Union, which is respon responsible for, for, for food safety. Um, in general, we, pro we provide uh, independent advice uh, and to support uh, for e risk managers and policy makers on, on food and feed safety. We communicate and, uh, in an independent way and timely way uh, uh, about these uh, findings. And we promote uh, the scientific cooperation across all, all actors in, in the food safety risk assessment. Our values uh, are scientific excellence, innovation, cooperation, and that is why I have chosen these, these slides. Uh, our, so our, one of our values is really to, co uh, to promote the cooperation uh, on, on between everybody uh, working on, on food safety risk assessment. We as well uh, an independent organization and we are committed uh, uh, for, open, for openness. So all our publications and, and methods are, are openly published. Um, the tools we use for our job is the is this triple of of uh, using using uh, data to to make our assessment. We have uh, specific methods to do the assessment, and we have of course the uh, a large a large number of of uh, people doing the doing the risk assessment. And why? Did we come up with an initiative um, about, uh, let's say, a, a little exchange platform for food safety and risk assessment or uh, uh, food safety risk assessment? It comes a little bit from from these from these 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 facts of life that data scientists are rare. Data science is a very new kind of job profile. Even it has only been established as a as a proper discipline, including uh, training opportunities uh, in the last in the last few years. Uh, and food safety experts are rare as well. Uh, so that means uh, uh, people who, who uh, have knowledge in both, so which are experts in data science and food safety, we are kind of even more rare. So that's why we came up uh, uh, with this idea as well based on the, on the values of, of EFSA uh, to, to and foster uh, cooperation between all, all actors that we need, uh, we need to come together and we need to, to yeah, we need to simply collaborate on uh, uh, using data science for food safety to solve to, to solve the complex problems together. So this is this this uh, uh, idea we started uh, uh, in June. What we have done so far, uh, we started by co um, contacting. The, the EFSA focal point network, which are basically the, uh, the national food safety uh, uh, institutions of the EU member states to, I wouldn't say nom yeah, to nominate or to, to give us uh, information about the profiles which we are looking for. So uh, data scientists with uh, knowledge in food safety risk assessment. Um, we went to this forum not to have people who kind of represent their country or represent uh, their institute. It was just one of the, 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 the was one of the possibilities to 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 come come to this to this network, and we got 70 experts nominated from from most EU countries, uh, and we have uh, uh, we, we I think. In general, me personally, uh, I think um, that the, these, this group of experts might be eventually extended even uh, international outside of, of EU. Um, because even though uh, as a regu regulatory authority, we are, of course, very much bound in our, our working methods, let's say, by, by, by European law at the end, 
the, the field of, of data science as well, what we have discussed today here, NLP, the methods, data, uh, which is used in this, this is very, very much international. So even though that EFSA in, in, on the first hand looks at the European picture, I'm even envisioning to eventually uh, extend the, the collaboration internationally. We have already started some contacts with, uh, with, the, with the USA, for example, um, so that this just uh, we just started by by EU member states. Then what do we want to do in this in this in this little group? Uh, I defined that a little bit uh, by uh, sharing experience how data science and AI can be applied to food safety risk assessment. So that is uh, of course the key. We we want to apply these things. We might eventually. Uh, fund development of some of them where we see holes, but in general, uh, the, the, the aim of, of, of uh, EFSA is uh, to use all these methods we have partially seen today and to, to apply them in our work. So we are looking at, across this group of, of, uh, yeah, uh, of successful applications of data science and AI uh, for food safety risk assessment. Together with that, we can of course uh, identify new opportunities where we see where we see holes. So where is research needed? Where is funding needed? Or what kind of ideas can we bring together as a group uh, to identify new uh, opportunities? And we can eventually uh, trigger uh, uh, the prototyping or uh, implementation of of, uh, of new ideas. That is a little bit uh, the kind of three. Uh, things I want to do in, in, in this little group. How do we want to do that? Um, just kind of simple for us, the simplest is uh, to just uh, set up a little platform of the, so we think that we can share uh, content uh, in Microsoft Teams. We will organize a little bit of presentations or demos with a subset of interested uh, participants. Uh, eventually sharing a lot of recordings. And I think it's in, important here as well that uh, uh, we want to, uh, this should be uh, really a, a network of, of experts which are representing, which are there because they have an individual expertise and interest in applying uh, uh, food safety to, to uh, uh, sorry, in applying data science uh, to food safety risk assessment. Uh, and uh, we have started just before the summer. We are now in the stage that uh, this MS, uh, the Teams platform will be set up. Uh, Martin was one of the one of the people nominated, so that's why how how we got in in contact. So I'm a little bit uh, talking about what will happen in the, in the next days. And uh, the, for example, one of the content things I want to for sure share with these type of groups are these kind of workshops, like the one of today. So if, if the material will be available uh, uh, publicly, I will for you for sure share that as well across the across the members of of, uh, of this group. And the other the, the, the further collaboration possibilities we will then uh, uh, need to develop over time. We are we are just in the just in the beginning. <clears throat> 